Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being with us for this exciting announcement. To get things started, I would like to begin with Dr. Imran Andrabi, who is Theta Care's president and CEO. Good morning. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> Come on, we are more excited than that. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I knew you could do that. What, what a glorious day. I've been waiting for this day for four and a half years. And I'm sure many of you have been waiting for this for longer than that. So here we are. Thank you for being here this morning. Um, welcome, everyone, our board members, our construction partners, our elected officials, our media members, our team members, our physicians, uh, and our foundation members as well. Uh, without all of you, this day would not be possible. So, so thank you all. Uh, my name is Imran Andrabi. I'm the President and CEO um, of TheraCare. Um, really a privilege to serve all the communities that we are here to serve um, and to live our mission each and every day in what we do. <coughs> Today we are proud to announce the next milestone in TheraCare's legacy of providing care for the people of Northeast and Central Wisconsin. The TheraCare Board of Trustees, along with the support from the TheraCare Nina Foundation, approved a $100 million investment to enhance and expand services at TheraCare Regional Medical Center in Nina. For more than 112 years, TheraCare and its team members have been honored to serve the people of the Fox Cities committed to empowering people to live their unique best lives through easy access to outstanding individualized care. The opportunity to deliver care to hundreds of thousands of Wisconsinites was made possible more than a century ago. I often talk about, you know, when we are internally having conversations, it was 112 years ago and a baby was born. And that changed everything. I mean, it's, it's amazing when you think about, you know, how um, life events change the course of communities forever. And so, um, as Theta Clark Peters was dying from complications from childbirth, as I talked about, the baby was born, Theta Clark Peters directed a significant portion of her estate to be used to build a hospital in Nina so that people in the community would have access to medical care. And here we are. <coughs> Pierce Smith, uh, a member of Theta's family, will share more about the story in a little bit. Uh, so I look forward to that conversation. But from her vision in 1909, Theta Clark's Memorial Hospital opened with 20 beds. Let's just close your eyes and envision that, right? 20 beds. And one operating room, Dr. Georgian, think about that, right? One emergency room and one delivery room. That's where this started. So if you look at the photos around you, um, you can see some of the legacy of where we've been, what we've uh, encountered, what we've lived through the years. Uh, and you know, we stand on the shoulders of people that have come before us to be able to do what we are about to do here today. Um, as was Theta's wish, her generosity transformed the quality of life in this community and her legacy lives on through Theta Care. Our organization is honored to continue her vision by serving patients and families and empowering each person to live their unique best lives. This $100 million investment to modernize the Nina campus will transform health care for all those living in the region and allow Theta Care to continue its commitment to keeping care local in the Fox Cities. This will be known as the inspired past, a healthier future modernization. When I first joined TheraCare more than four and a half years ago in 2017, TheraCare announced it would invest in enhancing the Fox Cities Hospital rather than develop a single hospital. Uh, if you remember the two to one conversation and then going back from two to one to one to two, because it was the right thing to do. And it was the right thing to serve our communities where people love, live and work um, and, and not have them have to drive and move to a singular location. 
This was in response to discussions around the possibility of bringing together ThetaCare, Regional Medical Center Appleton, and Nina in one regional healthcare destination. ThetaCare determined it, it would focus on expanding access and convenience of care throughout the service area. Efforts such as this updated project at ThetaCare Regional Medical Center Nina continue the commitment to provide new and enhanced ways for patients to receive convenient, high-quality care close to home in local communities while working to also lower the cost of care. We'll be revealing some of the components and special features of the modernization plan in just a bit. The modernization project will benefit the entire theater care system, making our teams stronger together. Theater care Regional Medical Center, Nina, will continue to serve as our anchor institution for critical care, while services such as Level 2 Trauma Center, <coughs> Certified Comprehensive Stroke Center, and emergency care located right here on the campus. As I reflect on the last 20 months, 600 plus days of this pandemic, believe it or not, the strength and resilience as, as one of Theta Care team members continues to shine as we pursue our mission to improve the health and well-being of our communities. Throughout the pandemic, we recognize we must address COVID-19 in partnership with our communities. And it's not only the pandemic, communities must come together to succeed in the betterment of all. Among many lessons, COVID-19 confirmed a view that most already knew. The existing state of affairs in healthcare is not sustainable. And it's not things that we can actually just do in our hospitals. It takes a village to take care of a village. Most health systems were designed decades ago for a generation since past. What we need today is something different and better for our families and our communities. TheraCare is on a continued path to reinvent healthcare by becoming a proactive partner in health, enriching the lives of all, and creating value in everything we do. In order to create healthier organizations and communities, we must become an organization that proactively knows our patients, anticipate healthcare needs and wants, and prevents issues from happening before they actually happen. Through investments to enhance and expand services at our local hospitals, we can continue to prepare and respond to the needs of the communities we serve, keeping our patients and our families safe and healthy now and in the future. It is my great pleasure to uh, introduce um, our board chair, who is also the president and CEO of Menasha Corporation, uh, to come up and say a few words um, from a board's perspective. Jim Kota. Okay, thank you, Dr. Indrabi. I'm glad to be with all of you this morning. I'm representing the Theta Care Board of Trustees. The Theta Care Board is proud to support the organization's vision of reinventing healthcare and empowering patients in the community to improve the health and well being through access to comprehensive care programs and services. Board members ensure the organization advances its mission of improving health while providing financial and quality oversight and oversight with regards to strate strategic decision making. Together, we are all proud to call this our home. This region is known for a deep connection to families, to friends, to neighbors, and quite simply for caring for each other. It's what drew us here and it's the reason we work together to build a strong community. As President and CEO of Menasha Corporation, I'm thrilled that our company is able to be one of the major supporters of this important project. As a company, we believe in making the communities where our employees live and work stronger. Today at Menasha Corporation, we have nearly 1,000 employees in the Fox Valley who will benefit from this incredible project. But it's not just them. It's their families, it's their friends, and it's all members of this community that I am pleased that will benefit from this investment. This is a community that is 
forward thinking, and that is planning for tomorrow. And that is investing in a better place to live for our children and grandchildren. So on behalf of the Theta Care Board of Trustees, I want to thank everyone who is helping bring this vision to life. Our project partners, our Theta Care leaders, and our caregivers who are dedicated to providing the best care possible for our communities. Next, I'd like to introduce Lynn Detterman, Senior Vice President, Theta Cares South Region. The others didn't have to worry about their mask and their earring. <laughs> All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. Um, a little background about myself. I have had the opportunity to work with this amazing team for the last 18 months. I came from a health system in the Midwest where I spent the last 18, or the previous 18 years, and moved my family here to the Nina community. And wow, what a blessing we have received from being here. So when I was talking to Dr. Andrabi about this position, one of the elements was this project. And he knows that I like building hospitals. Um, I've had the pleasure of building two um, in my career, and so this I was up for this challenge. So thank you all um, for celebrating in this day with me. The architectural design of the enhancements of the modernization are aimed to reduce cost, improve capacity, create sustained operational efficiency, and work more efficiently for our healthcare teams and ultimately provide an exceptional patient experience. So how did we get here? How did we know where to start? Well, I will say our physician partners were probably the most vocal on what areas of need we had, um, but also our frontline staff, our community stakeholders, our patients, all provided input on where we should begin. And so, at this time, I'd like to invite John Bergstrom, Executive Chairman of Bergstrom Automotive and Theta Care Nina Foundation Board, Member Emeritus, Pierce Smith, Vice Chair of the Nina Foundation Board, Courtney Weiland, Theta Care Family of Foundations, Vice President of Philanthropy, to join us on stage. Okay, let me say a few things and then we'll go. So I want to thank the Theta Care Family of Foundations for their work to make this modernization come to life. We literally could not do this without them. Their team partners with community members to inspire giving and provide funding for initiatives like this, modernization that help people experience healthcare that goes beyond expectations. So you'll hear more about their role in just a bit from John and Pierce. So at this time, John, Pierce, and Courtney, would you please unveil one of the renderings of the project, the emergency department and an additional Theta Star Air Medical Program Helipad. So now I'd like to tell you about some of the highlights of the modernization project. As you can see here, a large part of the modernization includes expanding and redesigning the emergency department, creating additional care space. We currently have 12 exam rooms. Clearly not enough, the physicians can attest to that, and we will be expanding to 20 exam rooms. These will include specialized rooms for trauma and behavioral health patients, all designed for the safety of the patients and team member efficiency for enhanced patient care. We will be creating an additional Theta Star Air Medical Program helipad adjacent to the emergency department for rapid transfer of patients. Today, 
We have to transport patients from the other side of the facility. Enhancing the specialized space to care for stroke patients to continue a coordinated response as a comprehensive stroke center, a designation given to those hospitals that have specific abilities to care for the most complex stroke cases. So not only to benefit the NENA community, but the entire region. Updating operating rooms to in include advanced robotic, robotic surgical equipment and creating four dedicated robot suites to support better outcomes for patients. So currently we have three robots and we need to be thinking where would we put the fourth because our robotics program is just growing so fast and develop an outstanding teaching environment as leaders in robotic surgery. Updating the family birth center, this is our legacy. Allowing families to become, to welcome little ones into the world in a modern, comfortable, and soothing environment. Creating a new environment for the women's center, which includes mammography, diagnostics and imaging, and bone density testing. The space will establish a comfortable, accessible area where women can feel confident in their personalized proactive healthcare decisions. Improving and expanding access for behavioral health services by redesigning the inpatient space and reintroducing the day treatment program to the hospital. This, will move, well, this move will provide a more optimal experience for our patients, a safer workplace for caregivers, and build capacity for additional treatment options at other Theta Care Behavioral Health Clinic sites. We will also be creating Main Street, where key diagnostic outpatient services will be located on the first floor of the hospital to ensure easier patient access. Our cafeteria will be located here, and we will also have our gift shop and retail pharmacy. We would also like to take this time to thank our project partners, Canon Design, Myron Construction, and HPLEX Solutions. And if you represent those organizations, please stand at this time. I can't tell you how excited I am to be working with this team. We've already spent what feels like about 500 hours together, not joking, um, since we began and they are amazing and have really added so much value to this project. So construction is planned to begin in January 2022 and the modernization is expected to be complete in fall of 2023. Now I would like to introduce Dr. Ray Jordan. Theta Care System Trauma Medical Director and Trustee of the Nina Foundation. Well, good morning, everyone. I have to say my heart's going pitter patter seeing this rendition of the helicopter pad being close to the emergency room. Over, over 30 years of running from one side of the building to the other has given me premature gray hair. At least that's what my wife says. <laughs> Um, again, I'm Ray Georgian. I'm the Director of Trauma Services for Theta Care. Probably more importantly, I've been a practicing general surgeon here in Nina for over 30 years. And really, this is truly an exciting day in the rich history of Theta Care in Nina, or for those of us who have been around for a long time, Theta Clark. Over 100 years ago, a very wise woman recognized the need for a hospital in the community and did instruct her brother, like Dr. Andromi said, uh, if things should not go well, or if she had complications from her childbirth, that her assets would be used to build a hospital here in Nina. You know, this, this spirit of giving has literally affected countless lives, generations of families, not only in Nina, but throughout northeastern Wisconsin. Now, when I joined the medical community back in 1990, I was immediately impressed at how engaged the community was in supporting this hospital and the desire to have highest level of health care available locally. And there's a lot of places you just don't find that. You just go on to the next hospital if you're in the suburbs of Chicago. And with the help of other like-minded individuals, I was able to establish the first American College of Surgeons Trauma Center in northeastern Wisconsin. Uh, with the help of our aeromedical program, Theta Star, injured patients throughout uh, the state have been transported to our trauma center so life-saving interventions could be performed. For years, members of our community look up to the sky when Theta Star flies by knowing 
that help is on the way. As has been mentioned previously, we have many other nationally recognized programs here in Nina. Our stroke pro program is a nationally recognized program which leads to early intervention, uh, improving mortality and decreasing the devastating complications that can happen with strokes. Having an on-site rehab center helps those folks as well as our trauma patients recover from whatever their misadventure has been. Um, our Center of Excellence in Bariatric Surgery is one of the first in the country and has improved the quality of life in patients who are suffering from the disease of morbid obesity. But as I reflect on all these very successful programs, I can't help but think none of this would have been possible without the initial act of giving by Theta Clark. In that spirit, Theta Care Administration, community leaders, and healthcare providers have banded together to create and plan and modernize our current facility to allow for the best possible patient experience while addressing the current and the potential future needs. I mean, healthcare changes seemingly minutely, so it is a Herculean task to be able to keep, keep tabs on what's gonna be coming down the pipe. As Lynn uh, noted, there are many dimensions to this building project. I will tell you in terms of trauma, each year our trauma program is treating an increasing number of folks that are injured. You combine that with a pandemic and one can see that our current ER is woefully under-resourced for the, the needs of our community. This ER expansion will not only increase the number of rooms, but each room will be larger in size. And that's really important so families can be with their loved one as the various interventions are performed and they can be part of the decision-making process. In terms of how it will be structured, the beds will be on the perimeter of the emergency room and our healthcare providers will be centrally located to allow for better lines of sight and make care more efficient. One of the crying needs of our community is the ability to treat and intervene in mental health issues. The new expansion, as Lynn said, will address the issue by having additional designated rooms to treat mental health needs. The design of these areas really emphasize patient and staff safety while treating these very sensitive issues. The operating rooms, which are near and dear to my heart, I have to be uh, transparent on that. The goal is to provide an environment where the latest surgical procedures can be performed in a safe and importantly, a cost conscious fashion. The ability to perform a highly complicated surgical procedure uh, in a minimally invasive fashion decrease the length of st the stay in the hospital as well as the cost, but more importantly, will allow our patients to return to their normal lifestyle earlier. This new OR complex will allow our surgeons the ability to perform these procedures with the latest technology in space. And many of you are maybe unaware that Theta Care Nina is a national training site in robotic surgery. Surgeons from all over the country now travel to Nina to watch and learn robotic techniques from our surgeons. Our new operating room theater will have, as Lynn said, four advanced robotic suites so surgeons from a wide array of specialties can perform robotic procedures. As has been previously mentioned as well, upgrades in our family birth center, having a comfortable environment for the women of our community to have mammography and women's health will also be upgraded. One last point that I really want to emphasize as I get toward the end of my career is that Data Care's desire to train the next generation of providers. We call that graduate medical education or, G or GME for short. It truly is the lifeblood of our future health team. Here in Nina, we've had a site for training general surgical residents from the University of Wisconsin, as well as a myriad of physician assistants from Marquette University. But there will be a significant space that's gonna be designated in the build out of this project to allow for uh, educational process, lecture facilities, conference rooms. Multiple new residency programs here on the Nina campus are being considered. This support and development of training programs locally will help attract the next generation of providers with the intent of having them pursue their career here in the Fox Cities after their training is complete with us. Exciting times indeed. On behalf of all of my healthcare colleagues, I'd like to thank all of those who have supported this endeavor as it truly is an investment in our community health which will impact generations of patients for years to come. I'm sure it comes as no surprise that this year and a half has been particularly tough on those of us in healthcare. It is truly refreshing to think of the future and how innovation and helpful this building project will be. I'm sure if Theta Clark were with us today, she would be supportive of how this project takes her wishes to the next level. Let's make this happen. With that, I'd like to reintroduce Mr. John Bergstrom, the Executive Chairman of Bergstrom Automotive, for some additional comments. Thank you.
you, Dr. Ray. This is kind of a day for heroes, the way I look at it. Um, I think that uh, the demonstration that we have seen by over 900 teammates in this facility over the last year and a half has been absolutely incredible. I think if there was any gift that I can remember in my lifetime that's been given to a community, it's been given since COVID-19 came. The work that these people have done has been absolutely incredible. Speaking for the community, I want to say thank you, Dr. Andravik, to your team, and all of you healthcare providers for that wonderful gift. Um, thank you. Um, in any very special community, there are mandatory pieces that all go together in a puzzle that make it what it is. We need a top quality school system and dedicated educators that are committed to excellence. We need a medical facility that's up to date, that has the technology and the equipment that's necessary to support the top doctors and attract the top doctors, the nurses and the staffs and the administrators. And it's very difficult not to ask yourself the question that a community this size, how is it possible that we have this incredible asset that we have in Theta Care It's just a wonderful, almost incredible amenity that defines in a lot of ways who we are. We also need quality employers, companies, long term, that are committed not only to do their work, but to provide quality jobs. And companies like Manasha Corp, Plexus, and Kimberly Clark, and you can go on and on, are incredibly important. Then we need a government, a municipal government, and people that give their time and talent to make this community run. Top law enforcement people that provide our safety and firefighters. And then there's this other little piece it's caring and generous people that give back so that the community continues to get better. And hopefully it's even a better place for where we're going. We have all those things. And I've had the benefit in my life to be in a lot of places. There isn't any place that I'm more proud of as I look at what they have to offer than this little community. So thank you all for what you've done. Dr. Andrabi, uh, four and a half years ago, I was in kind of a tough place. Theta Care was in kind of a tough place, and you showed up. And every day it gets better. And I'm not a big fan of taking too long to get things done. So I'll give you great credit for saying, don't worry, we'll get it done, but calm down. <laughs> He's only told me that. Out of his 1,700 days, maybe 1,400 of them. So. But uh, you had the dream, you understood it, you put all of the pieces together to make it come. Lynn Detterman, uh, I frankly was afraid because I've watched too long in, in governmental and university and healthcare things, how uh, there is a path, a cadence that's so challenging. And she's so refreshing. She, is, she comes in that room and says, how do we find a solution? How do we find a solution for the needs that we have? So thank you for coming and bringing your family here. Um, and Dr. Ray, I kind of look at this, I've got to be careful because I don't want to offend anybody, but this is like Dr. Ray day, okay? I've, I've known Dr. Ray since he came to town. I don't remember any day that he wasn't asking for the steps necessary to get to level one trauma and to get an emergency uh, commitment of facilities and technologies that always were just something in the dream. And today is, in so many ways, your dream that maybe you used me as a tool to work on Dr. Imran. I'm not sure. 
but I don't mind being used, I guess. Uh, for all of us, we're winners here. Uh, on a personal basis, uh, and I don't want to make this personal, but it is. Sorry, I'll get it. Uh, I've lived with a nurse for 50 years. And 30 of them, she worked here. 16 of them, she worked chefs. Pretty cool stuff. Now we have two sons that work here. Uh, one that says, take it easy, Dad, they're on the right path and the business is good. The other one that says, you better get it done before you're not here. So uh, to those two sons, thank you for your support. Uh, I have to add that there's been one little situation in our marriage that most people wouldn't understand. Uh, when she decided to build the home that she always wanted, she built it next to the helipad. <laughs> How many people have the opportunity to build a dream home with a helicopter flying through your bedroom three times a night? But thank you, Dr. Wright, for that. Um, Dr. Andrabi, uh, this $100 million plan, um, this is a small city. But when you think about the fact that you and your financial team figured out a way to get $60 million to invest here. And then people before us and some of us that have invested in the Theta Care Foundation and uh, uh, found a way that we could take $25 million out of that account. There was a $15 million gap from the dream to reality. On June 1st, uh, Mike Wade, Pierce Smith, and Tim and a lot of other people uh, started knocking on doors. And uh, in a little over 100 days, they raised $14,391,000 to close that gap. There were 57 significant gifts made, and I'm a little bit of a cheap track. Uh, of the 57 gifts, there were 61 requests made in person. That might be the most incredible community that anybody has ever heard about. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I have to laugh a little bit. Uh, Denise Burkett is just a wonderful partner in our little journey here. And, uh, and she has kept us all in step behaving appropriately, but she's done a very nice job of doing her part to sharing this dream in the medical community. So Denise, Thank you for doing that, and it's helped us a great deal. So, um, back to who I am, that I apologize, but not too sincerely. On Monday morning, January 3rd at eight o'clock, I'm gonna walk over from the driveway and uh, watch the shovels and maybe the crane and all of the different pieces of equipment start to challenge. The reason I announced that today is I don't want anybody to change that day. Okay. <laughs> and then on the 4th of July in 2023, uh, I'm hoping they take all their stuff and go home and we turn this over to the medical community to do their, man their wonders. Uh, that's exactly 18 months. I heard Lynn give the architects and the construction people a little slack in that by saying fall. Um, I think 18 months is the 4th of July. I have a tendency to align things with dates I can remember. So, uh, But it'll be a very exciting day. And uh, this dying young mind's dream from 110, 12 years ago will again be made possible. Um, very special thank you to everyone. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce my friend, Pierce Smith, who is the Vice Chairman of the Theta Care Nina Foundation. 
and is also a direct family descendant from the very beginning of this amazing medical story. Pierce. Thank you, John. My name is Pierce Smith, and I serve as the vice chair of the Nina Foundation Board. I'm honored to be here today uh, to get to share the history of a very caring woman. Theda Clark Peters was my great grandmother. As Dr. Andrabi mentioned earlier, um, you've heard from today, her <coughs> legacy inspired today's Theda Care. In 1903, Theda passed away at the age of 32 from complications in childbirth. She directed her brother to take a significant part of her estate and build a hospital in Nina. She would not have known how this gift transformed the quality of life here in our community, just as it continues to today. From the day Theda Clark Memorial Hospital opened in 1909, so much has changed. From technology used to care for patients to the needs of those living in our communities. In 1947, with the leadership of the Shattuck family, the Nina community came together and funded a 170 bed addition to the hospital, a little more than the 20 that Dr. Andrabi referenced earlier. In the decades since, our foundation and many members of this generous community have continued to invest in Theta Care to bring the best medical care to the people of Northeast Wisconsin. These investments over the years have included the Theta Star Air Medical Program, becoming the first level two trauma center in the area, and a certified comprehensive stroke center. On behalf of the Nina Foundation Board, it is our honor to help Theta Care have the tools to care for our community. Over the decades, countless families have benefited from the gift Theta made. The descendants of Theta Clark Peters are proud of the legacy that lives on in Theta Care and proud of all of its team members who continue to care for everyone in our community. Next, we'd like to share a video that describes more about the legacy of Theta Care and the inspired past Healthier Future project. Jr. in my will, I said, if I were to die in childbirth, 
use half my estate to build a hospital and a school of nursing to ensure access to health and care. On October 18, 1903, I gave birth to a healthy baby girl and carried on our family name of Theta. But my fate was not for me to decide. Three days after my sweet baby came into the world, I died from complications of childbirth. I left my family this letter, only to be given in the event of my death. My husband, <coughs> I hope that I am leaving you the greatest treasure that a woman can give to her husband, a child, to love you as long as you shall live. Teach our child to know me as mother somehow. Teach our child so much of good that the evil of life can find no place in its heart or head. I shall wait for you and try to watch over you somewhere. My vision for my community has been honored. On my daughter's sixth birthday, Baby Care opened its first doors, ensuring care and help for generations of families to come. Over a century later, my legacy lives on in Theta Care, with hospitals and clinics, physicians and staff, improving the health of the people in the communities I love. Our family and the entire community is proud to support this modernization of the original Theta Clark Memorial Hospital, continuing to amplify Theta's gift to another generation of our community. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Nina Mayer, Dean Coffer. Thank you very much. I uh, listening to everybody. I feel like the luckiest guy around because, as the leader of the community, I get to uh, take part of these types of events. And it's truly since last week when I got the phone call that it was really going to happen. Um, I had a little giddy up in my step. I raked pine needles all weekend with my wife at the cottage, and she said, "Boy, you usually don't do this much work." I said, "I got a little bit more energy." So. Uh, this is really the icing on the cake. So good morning. Uh, I'm joined today by my council president, Todd Stevenson, who's here, and my community development director, Chris Hayes. Because today's announcement is a very big deal, not just for Theta Care, but also for the city of Nina and the residents, but also for our entire region. Access to quality health care is so important for the well-being of any community. Here in Nina, we've been really fortunate to have that quality system for many years. Trauma center, stroke center. Nina's part of a region that's fast growing, over 250,000 people in the region. So the opportunity for this new hospital is great. The opportunity for this community, for things like this and the Plaza Gateway, which will be celebrating the grand opening on Thursday night the Loop the Lake Trail, Lakeshore Drive, all those things, business community. We're home to numerous headquarters here in this community like Alta Plexus, Menasha Corp, Bergstrom, Nina Foundry, and that's why this is such a great community. And just a few years ago when discussions were taking place to possibly relocate the hospital, this entire community spoke up loud and clear that they wanted this hospital system to stay within the community. 
<laughs> it's important for the local business community. It's important for the vitality of our community. Knowing that we have a healthcare system minutes away that can save lives, treat people with illnesses, and ins help ensure that folks' well-being just cannot be understated. I told people then that sometimes you don't know what you got until you possibly lose them. But today's announcement will solidify Theta's presence in our community for generations to come. And I'm sure that Theta Clark Peters' hopes and dreams starting this hospital 112 years ago and knowing that her dream and her legacy will continue makes her and her family proud. So I, the mayor of this community, on behalf of the city council and the elected leaders and citizens of the city of Nina, would like to personally thank the board of directors, Dr. Andrabi, and all those that are responsible for this decision to reinvest in this community. I remember four and a half years ago, my first meeting with Dr. Andrabi, and we had, let's just say, a very frank discussion, and uh, he is truly someone who I have learned to admire, and uh, I'm really proud to say um, that he's my friend, and that uh, things are just gonna get better. So it's great to hear. So this $100 million investment to enhance and expand our services right here in our community is gonna enhance the quality of life for all of our residents. This is a great day for our community and our citizens. And there's Nina, there's no place I'd rather be. So thank you very much. All right. Can you imagine the sun is out too? The sun was listening. So I, I, I'm not, I don't have any uh, more to say except to say that we, we are truly blessed to have all of you in this community. Uh, I feel truly blessed to be part of this community. Um, having lived in Ohio for 26 years before I moved here, I, w I thought, oh my gosh, w what is this going to be? And it's been the easiest transition to another community that I could have ever imagined. And it is because of all of you and, and what you bring to the table and your love for the community and what we are trying to build here together. And, and as you've heard, it doesn't happen without every single one of us coming together, feeling what we feel, doing what we do, and keeping everybody to a timeline, Mr. Brookstrom. <laughs> um, I, I, I just, uh, I would say I'm, I'm humbled uh, to be part of a community that uh, has done so much and continues to do so much for the people of our community. And, and I just want to also thank our physicians, our nurses, our team members, every single individual that makes it happen every day. Because even after we have the best buildings and the best technology, it's the people that make a difference. And um, and that's just something that we are honored to have and privileged to be a part of. Um, and hopefully, as Mr. Berksham said, as we do all of this work, we are able to attract some high quality talent from all over the country, uh, maybe all over the world, to come to Nina, come to the Fox Cities and this valley to be able to take care of the people in our region. So. Um, Thank you, thank you all for being part of this. Thank you to the generous people of this community uh, who have stepped up yet again and are part of this. Thank you to all of the team members that have come together from our side of Theta Care to make this happen. Thank you to our foundation. Thank you to our board leadership. I couldn't do and Lynn couldn't do what we do and my team without our board being right there next to us, supporting us to do what needs to be done. So um, as we wrap up here, take a moment to have some refreshments, look at some of those wonderful legacy um, 
pictures that we have around. Um, like I said, the sun is out. Uh, it is a glorious day. Uh, and sometimes, you know, we may not be here to enjoy everything just like Theta Clark Peters for what we are about to do here. But somebody will remember that there were people back in 2021 who made a difference for this community. So, God bless you all. Thank you for being here and thank you for everything that you do for this community. Thanks.